In this tutorial, we will go through how you can build a cloud function that, when given a URL of a website, gives back a screenshot of that website. This can be useful in different scenarios. Say, for example, if you are building a list of content in your app and want to generate thumbnails of the website automatically based on the URL. Or, if you want a screenshot of the current URL page that the user is on for troubleshooting. So let's see how you can do this in low code using Rowy. Once you set up Rowy, you can create a table where your data gets stored. This table is directly connected to your database, in this case Firestore. So any change you make on Rowy is reflected in Firestore real time and vice versa. Okay, let's create a URL column that will store the website that you want to get the screenshot of. Users can add URLs directly to this field using Rowy UI or via your app that is connected to Firestore. Now let's add another column that will store the screenshot image. For this, we will add a derivative column type. That allows you to write code in JavaScript and use any NPM package or API. Derivative columns listens to changes in any fields in your table and triggers the code. So in this case, we will be listening to any change in the URL field. In the code, we will be using Puppeteer to create the screenshot. And then the image file will be stored in Firebase Storage using Rowy's utility function, rowy.storage. You can explore this code on a live playground from the link in the description. Okay, now once you click the deploy button, this code gets deployed as a cloud function on your own GCP project. This is one of the easiest ways to create cloud functions in low code without having to worry about configs, CLIs, consoles, etc. All right, so now that this is deployed and ready, let's try it out. We first add a row and then add some URLs. Now the derivative column with cloud function is automatically triggered as it was listening to the URL column, and there you go, the screenshot of the website is generated. If you right click and see where the image is stored, you can see it is in your Firebase storage. You can also see this data on your Firestore project as well, real time. If you like this tutorial, do leave a comment on what you would like to see next.